of Dexter got their first look at the new season at Comic-Con, and the buzz is building. Joining me now is David Zayas, AKA Angel Batista, Dexter's best friend and coworker. So welcome, David. I Thank have you. to say the show is fantastic. I can see why you guys have such a huge following. Thank you. We have a, a great time. We got great cast, great writers, great producers. It's just a, a great experience all around. You do, you do. And I love your story because you got into the business kind of late in life, right? You were actually 15 years serving on the New York City Police Force mm -hmm. and started acting class while you were working as a policeman. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, I've always, I've always wanted to be a, an actor and, and involved in the business. Uh, then, you know, life usually takes over and you got to make choices to, to do what you have to do. Uh, but yeah, I, be, I became a police officer in 85 and and uh, about halfway into that, I decided I wanted to try acting, and I started taking classes. I was in New York, so it was the great, you know, the best place to, to start that. So. And, and now you're on a hit show, I'm getting Emmy nominations. Exactly, That's fantastic. Yeah. It's never too late. Okay, so let's talk about season three. Okay. Um, the promo was released at Comic Con mm -hmm. to great response. It looks like it's going to be a pretty intense season. What can you tell us about the season, and what can you tell us about what's going to happen for Angel? Well, it's it's a very going to be a very interesting season. It's really separate from season one and season two and there's going to be some new new twists and new challenges and we got some new characters uh one being uh miguel prado played by jimmy smith's um wow. that should be an interesting storyline coming in and now you and jimmy have worked together before we've worked together on broadway we did a broadway show called anna in the tropics about about four years ago so i i, I know jimmy fairly well he's he's just a great uh very classy and very uh amazing actor that's fantastic. Now, you guys are going to put a twist on this season, right? With the fact that Dexter's going to maybe start killing some people that aren't 100% guilty. I heard a rumor. Really? Uh, well, you know, it's funny <laughs> because I don't know what they let us, you know, we read the scripts and then the next week we start shooting it. So I don't really know what's happening coming up. Okay, but uh, what about for Angel? Well, for Angel, I, you know, I don't really know what's happening either. But what's, what's great about this show is that they always find some interesting twists that that they, uh, they throw my way. And it's always something that, it's a pleasant surprise when I read it because it's a, a great uh, character uh, growth kind of storyline that, that he usually has. And uh, it's usually offbeat, which is great. Well, you know? yeah, well, you know, you know, when I was watching this show for the first time, I was thinking, you know, if I read this script about a serial killer that's mm -hmm. sort of an America's sweetheart almost kind of thing, I mean, you love him and he's a serial killer. I'm not sure whether I would think it would work reading the script. Did you know when you read the script that it would be so well received? Well, the one thing I, I noticed right away when I read the script uh, was that you are automatically put in the mind of of this uh, of this person. Mm -hmm. So you not only see him killing people, right. but you actually go through the process of what he's going through. Hear his thoughts. And it so humanizes then, him. So then the audience actually... Is, is listening to his thoughts and his process as to why he's doing it, what his urges are. And even though it's not, a, you know, they don't, you don't condone it, but you kind of then understand it and you kind of go through this journey, which is really interesting. It's really psychological and is something that I don't think has ever been shown on, on television when it comes to... Uh, this kind of, of, uh, of genre, this kind of subject matter. I don't have a lot of time here, but what do you think about the new audience you guys are gaining now that the show is re-airing on CBS? Um, well, CBS really, I, I, I think, uh, brought a lot of people, new people that hadn't seen Dexter, to watch it and get interested in it, and now maybe hopefully subscribe to Showtime to get the, the second season and the third season. Fantastic. So I think that it, it helped in, in, uh, in exposing uh, Dexter to uh, an audience that probably wouldn't even have heard of it, you know, and, and right, I think well, it's a good thing. thank God for that. It's yes, a great show. Absolutely. Thank you. David Zayas, thank you so much. My pleasure. The new season of Dexter is expected to return to Showtime on September 28th.